Hey guys, it's Danny Bell. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today so far. Guys, it's bunny day. Can you believe it? Um, super excited to be back on our farm for Island of Sugar Bell for the day. Guess who's here? It's Ava, and look how cute she is. Guys, is there anything cuter than a chicken in a little egg suit and dress? Oh my gosh, stop. She's so precious. Let's say hi to Ava, and then we're actually going to do a build on the Happy Home Paradise DLC today. Um, I wanted to see Zipper real quick before we head over there. I know, guys, everybody seems to have mixed feelings about Zipper. Personally, I don't super dislike him, but I do find him slightly annoying. I know that they, uh, the creators of Animal Crossing actually adjusted this from previous um, Bunny Day events in, in previous years. So it's actually a lot less Bunny Day than in the past. Oh, I mean, he did a little twirl. How cute is that? Can he really be all that bad? I don't know. I really enjoyed seeing Zipper this week, but honestly, I don't know how people did it in the past with two weeks of Zipper, honestly. <laughs> all right, let's head over to Happy Home Paradise. I'm really excited to get going on this build. I was thinking for the day today, it might be fun to do a build for one of the rabbit villagers. I didn't see anybody great on the beach when I headed over here for us, and yeah, definitely wanted to do a rabbit, so I'm thinking we might have to pop some amiibos in, and let's speed things up and do a build for Chrissy, and I'm thinking what would be even better than adding Francine as well, because they seem to always be just an adorable pair of sisters. So cute and precious, perfect for Easter, of course, so let's pop over to the property with Chrissy, and we'll start doing the exterior build first. I wanted to pick this area right here just because of the cherry blossoms. I love the beautiful pink cherry blossoms. I'm really sad that that time is over for the year, but I thought we could reminisce um, if we made a property here for Chrissy and Francine with all of the beautiful pink blossoms. Okay, to start things out, I kind of changed up the house a little bit. I did sort of a light blue exterior with a pink scalloped roof. I really love this color combo, and of course, it's perfectly fitting for Francine and Chrissy. I love that they're sisters, and I love that they have the two complementing colors. They're sort of, I think, meant to look similar to like an Easter egg, something like that. I really just love them. They're super sweet. Have you guys ever had either of them as villagers? Let me know in the comments. I'd really be interested to find out from you how they were on your islands and if you enjoyed having them. Okay, so just catching up a little bit. This build is flying by, you guys. I wanted to add a lot of pathing. I used this custom vintage floral path, and I'll be sure to link the, the designer code information in the description of the video. So if you're looking for something like this, you'll have it readily available. It's one of my favorite paths. We used it a ton on Sugar Bell, and I couldn't help but want to use it for this build as well. Okay, so now we're sort of just spamming in a lot of other items here. I wanted to create these two little circular areas with the padding and then put some of the egg trees on top of it. And then just kind of putting all the bunny day items in here because this is really, I think, mostly the one time of the year that we can use a lot of these items with the exception of a few. I love the little bunny topiaries and I really, really like the fence. I know it's kind of cheesy looking, but I think it's perfect for this type of a build. And again, just putting in a lot of the items like these little egg, I don't know what you'd call and they're like little planters, egg planters, <laughs> and moving things around just to make sure it fits. Some of the things in this build, like these little strips of light, I wasn't really sure where to put them, but they were a requirement for Chrissy's build. So I figured, hey, we'll do one half in pink and one half in blue with corresponding um, decorative items of the corresponding color with it. And I figured that would work pretty well. I decided to give each of them a little carrot garden on each side and a little bunny garden decoration, one pink and one blue. I thought it would be fun. And then just kind of putting in some flowers to sort of put some sprigs of color to match each side for them as well. For the most part, I think this is coming together pretty well. I wasn't really sure what to do um, furniture-wise, so I'm thinking we're gonna have to put something big in the corner on each side. For now, um, the flower display stands, those are another required item. I think we might just have to incorporate that inside because it's not really working for me here on the exterior build. But I think we'll figure it out all in all, just sort of moving things around to make sure they fit. And I think we're gonna probably just put in maybe some gazebos or something like that here in the corners because I'm not 100% loving the benches. They just didn't really seem to fit. And I know one thing's for sure, if you're making any of these builds on Happy Home Paradise, if you don't leave enough space for the villagers to walk around, I had a moment earlier when I was decorating some of this, I stopped in the middle and poor Chrissy was trapped over in the corner. I couldn't get to her. She couldn't get to me. It was terrible. So I'm trying to be mindful of at least leaving some sort of a walking path for our bunnies here at their new little vacay home. 
but yeah, it's definitely tricky. Okay, so things are coming together. I've added a couple of little egg stools over here and a gyroid with the corresponding color decor for each of our bunnies. And just kind of rearranging things to make sure there's a little bit of extra space, not only for pathing and walkways, but just to give it a better, I guess, aesthetically pleasing look. I wanted to put in a few little custom designs, so I chose this adorable little carrot. I guess it's sort of meant probably for like a garden. I think it would work really well actually on a farm core island. I just thought it would be really fun to use for them since they're bunnies. And then just popping in a couple of coordinating colored tools like this adorable floral shovel and then a little watering can. Okay, so now that we have this done, let's take a little bit of a peek at this before we head inside. Um, we're actually going to do a two-story house here for Chrissy. I kind of have the idea that it would be fun to do sort of a living quarters with a living room and things like that in the downstairs area and then maybe a bedroom-bathroom combo upstairs for them. Yay! Not to mention, I forgot to mention to you guys this cute little umbrella design over here with the little bunny peeking into the carrot basket. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! I found it on the portal, so I'll definitely put that information in the description of the video for you guys as well. Alright, let's head in because I'm really excited to get going on the interior. I'm going to expand the room because I think because this is going to be a shared space, I want it to be the maximum size. And then I'm popping in some different variations of wallpaper. I was really playing around with this, but I ultimately decided on going with the, the painted floor. I love the look of this with the little splotches of different pastel colors. Perfect for bunnies in this time of year. And I really wanted the striped wallpaper to work, guys, but I ended up opting for this simple pink wallpaper just because it was really not jiving with the floor. It was a little bit too much pattern. And in particular, I don't know if you guys noticed this too. Let me know if you agree or not. Um, when I'm using the wall dividers in Happy Home Paradise, I do find it more, it's, it's a little easier, I guess, to decorate with wallpaper that is just one tone versus anything that's really busy. Okay, so now that we've popped in some dividers, I'm trying to decide what to do, which side to do in what way. So I'm sort of sectioning off the area. I know I wanted to have a little living room area, maybe like a little dining room, maybe a little office, and then maybe a kitchen on the side. That's sort of the idea I had for the downstairs area. I wanted to use this wedding table. I really love this. It's seasonal. And for anybody that is newer, you can get it during the June months if you go over to Harv's Island and do the Reese and Cyrus build for their wedding anniversary. It's a really fun thing to do in June. And so if you haven't tried it out yet, please do. It's definitely worth your time. You get all these great items and this cute wedding table is just perfect for something like this. I've added in some more furniture and just I'm sort of working on spamming it in and then rearranging it as we go because this build has been super chaotic so far. I've added in a little country hutch and then putting things in like the Easter chocolates and just some other little pastries that are carrot flavored like this mom's carrot cake and um, the little carrot scones which are one of my new faves from the 2.0 update. Oh my gosh, I was really really excited to be able to use that. We've also created a little pantry over here in the corner of the kitchen with some of the canned goods and a little curtain in front just to sort of create a little enclosed space for them. And then now I'm kind of filling out the walls with some of the dried flowers and then also adding some light fixtures like these chandeliers and the stained glass which is my personal favorite, as well as just adding some rugs, like this adorable lacy rug, and then I kind of like the cherry blossom rug. I know it's not exactly Easter, but I love the coloration of it, and I think it goes really well with the style that we're trying to create in this loft apartment for our little bunnies. Okay, I'm liking how this came together. I'll probably come and add a few little finishing touches. I tried to create a little hallway here in the front where they walk in, and then I'm adding a few of the little wooden block rugs as well as this blue rug here just for the entrance to sort of make it its own little space and then of course adding the flower stand which was a required element for the build itself. All right, let's move upstairs. I wanna get going on this one. I wanted this section of the build to be more like a bedroom slash bathroom area for our bunnies. I still wanna keep with the idea of having one side pink, one side blue, but this particular area, I wanted to sort of mix up the patterns as far as the furniture goes, but I wanted to kind of have a theme throughout. So I have this adorable custom pattern that I found on the portal. It's a quilt design and it has both blue and pink in it. I thought it was just very fresh and spring-like. So you'll notice a lot of the bedding and um, accoutrements in the room sort of are trimmed out with that quilt design that I found. And again, I'll put that info in the description of the video for you guys. 
Okay, so this area, I've added the walls to sort of separate things out, and you'll notice I'm moving things a lot in this section. I was trying to decide where to put the bathrooms. Ultimately, I decided to keep the bathroom area on the back side where the giant arched windows are with the accent wall, and then add in this um, board floor rugs just because I think it does differentiate the two areas a lot better. I've been dying to use this bathtub you guys. These new bathtubs that came out with the 2.0 update I love them and this green color just never seemed to fit in anything right but I love it here in this build. It really just has a perfect pop of spring and I was trying to find a way to make the easter egg bed work but it just would not fit. I tried and tried and so ultimately I ended up scrapping that which I was a little bit sad about but yeah I couldn't walk through the doorway and I still wanted the room to be purposeful so just enjoy the egg bed for now it's just a temporary stay okay so now I'm adding a couple of little sofas here in the front just so that Francine and Chrissy each have a little sitting space to, of their own here and then I'm also adding in a lot of other little items that I can sit on top of things like a little towel basket on top of the washer and dryer a medicine cabinet over here in the corner that I thought would be easily passable for a little towel or toiletry area and then of course just adding things in like a few more little rugs and then adding some light fixtures and wall fixtures as well I really wanted things to look fresh and bright so I went with the Moroccan lamps for the ceiling and then I added in this cute little shelf with the bottles just to sort of differentiate between the bedroom area and the bathroom area. So I think this is going to come together pretty well. Let's take a peek at it before we finish up and head back. Yay! I really love the quilt pattern. I think it's one of my new faves. I really like the little clothing items and the shoe boxes, especially with Chrissy since she's a peppy type. I wanted her to have all of the cute glamour items that were pink and pastel and all the cute little things like that. And then on Francine's side, we have a little mountain bike that's in a pastel color as well. And then a few other little refined items for her. Little things like these paint cans. I wanted to add the paint cans, guys. I had to since I didn't do a definitive Easter build on Sugar Bell on the island. I wanted to put a little basket of Easter eggs as well as the paint cans just to sort of symbolize that they are Easter bunnies and they're doing a little bit of crafting in their spare time before the big day tomorrow. Yay! I really love how this came together. I love little things that you can add to the build, like a toothbrush cup, any of the little things like candles, things like that, I think really add a lot. And then of course, giving some love to the walls. So let's head back downstairs. I want to take one more peek at this before we wrap up. Let me know in the comments, guys, which part of this build is your favorite? Do you like how the upstairs came together the most or the downstairs? I can't really pick. I'm just really excited to be able to do this. The two-story builds take quite a bit of extra time, so if you're looking to do something like this on your island, whether it's with these two cuties or with any of the other villagers that you might either amiibo in or find hanging out on the beach, it's definitely gonna take you a chunk of time if you're gonna be doing a roommate situation, but I think at the end, it's really fun, definitely entertaining, and it gives us a chance to bring together a lot of designs that we wouldn't normally be doing on our island because yeah, these cute little Easter bunnies are just perfect for this time of year. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you so much to all of the subscribers on the channel. You guys truly mean the world to me, and I genuinely hope that you all have an amazing bunny day. I hope that you have time to spend with your family and friends, as well as all of your villager and digital friends on your Animal Crossing island. Happy bunny day, you guys. Wishing you all an amazing day. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one.